And it is time now for a look at our Alaska news, brought to you today by Inland Petro Service, Inc. at 451-1905. If you're an Alaskan business, you know the importance of lighting and signage. And from the installation of new signs to maintenance on existing signs, whether we're talking LED or neon, from canopies to parking lot lighting, or if you just need to have a banner installed. Alaska Inland Petro Service is the way to go. For over 25 years of experience right here in Fairbanks, they'll be able to help you with all of your needs. So give them a call at 907-451-1905 or visit their website at inlandpetroservice.com. Remember, from Bettles to McCarthy, Northway to Beaver Creek, there's no place too far. Inland Petro Service knows Alaska. Let's take a look at some of our Alaska news for this Wednesday morning. Quite a bit of stories to cover today. I'm not sure we're going to get, in fact, I know we won't get to all of them, so please refer to what the subscribers did. I send out a 30-minute version of the news. I get you the national and the Alaska news, 30 minutes more news than you're going to get anywhere else, guaranteed. Hey, that plane that we reported that was missing, it was found with all three on board alive, in fact, uninjured, virtually unheard of. Also, the use of some unsanitary dental tools has prompted uh, some blood tests being circulated in southeast right now. They finally have had some ash fall from the Bogoslav eruption, this latest one dumping some ash on, on Alaska. Very, very light, but it is, again, the first ash fall that they've actually seen as the Bogoslav has been erupting since early December. A lot of confusion still over the refugee situation and the ban that Donald Trump gave over the weekend with a number of trips being canceled and now UAF specifically warning students and faculty not to leave the U.S. So basically, you might not be able to get back in. And there's a new brand of burro being considered right now, one that would specifically have broad powers for energy, the idea being that they want to drive down the cost of energy, and they're going to take this vast area in western Alaska and turn it into a burro that would have the ability to go out there and build infrastructure to try to pull down the exorbitant cost of energy in that area. Uh, it's been actually met with a bit of scorn and alarm by the people who live there. There's uh, the Taku, the state ferry Taku is being sold. And guess who has first crack at it? That's right, cities and boroughs, just like any other state property that's surplus, whether you're talking about a desk lamp or you're talking about a 325-foot boat. First crack goes to other state government entities. So cities and boroughs, hey, I think Fairbanks ought to buy the ferry. The Alaska uh, Aerospace Corporation, you know, the ones that launches the missiles into space, they're now looking to build a new launch site, one that's closer to the equator. I'm not sure they could really call it the Alaska Aerospace anymore, could they? That Fairbanks man that was injured in the accident on Sunday morning has now been moved down to Seattle. His condition is still critical. Our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. And I don't know if you heard about it, but Juno is looking to clear their harbors, going around and finding 39 different boats that haven't moved in three years. You're supposed to you're supposed to leave every once in a while. And they're saying, oh, these boats have been here too long, and they're going to start impounding them. So, hey, maybe you could add that to the ferry and bring it up here to Fairbanks. Also, they are proposing a new industry tax here in Alaska on lobbyists. It would be a income tax. What's interesting is the fellow who is proposing it, Sam Keto, his own dad is a lobbyist. So way to go. Hey, last story we've got is uh, it's in the Peninsula Clarion today. If you're ever wondering what to do with that moose head, there's actually, I'm, I have wondered. I, I had a caribou head, and I was like, what am I going to do with this? And a friend of mine said, hey, uh, I know somebody who wants it, who would like to cook it and eat it. And I'm like, hey, go for it. Turns out that there's a step by step on how to do it at the Peninsula Clarion, where the Kinez elders actually demonstrate with the video and the whole bit there how to take off the moose nose, which is apparently quite the delicacy. And uh, then, of course, you're boiling the head, all the brain matter, and all the gelatin, all of that stuff. It settles down. It can be sliced up after it's congealed. They call it head cheese. Yeah. That's what we got for our Alaska news today. You like what I'm doing? Please support me either through Patreon or by buying a direct subscription at radiofreespeech.com. Have a great day.